Hey guys, it's me Max Rambo and I am back for another video. Today I am super duper excited to do a different style of video for me on this channel at least. As you guys may have known, I started out my YouTube career as a beauty guru on my separate channel Maxi Rainbow, but once I started doing Eurovision videos over here, I kind of left that on the back burner. I never uploaded there again, but today I'm going to be going back to my beauty guru roots and doing a little bit of an un boxing because I got some very very exciting merch from our very own Eurovision winners Monaskin. So I was so amped up whenever this merch dropped. This year I was trying to collect as much Eurovision 2021 related merch as I possibly can. I don't know I just wanted to support the artists this year with everything that they had been going through and and I just realized I wanted to start getting some more Eurovision memorabilia for myself. So so in this video I'm going to be unboxing my Monaskin merch. I got quite a few items from them as well as I'm going to be showing off the other Eurovision merch that I got this season. So without further ado let's get right into unboxing. Also, I guess I should address the elephant in the room, which is my look right here. I finally had gotten everything together to do a Monoskin inspired photo shoot. And then I received the merch and I was like, well, this is the perfect time to do the unboxing and do the look and everything like that. So, so for those of you who don't know kind of how this merch had ended up dropping, I was so, so thankful because I totally forgot that their merch was dropping and I went to check and it was completely sold out. But luckily they were doing, and I think they are still doing it right now where you can go and order it and it's like more of a pre-order so it might not be in stock but it will ship out whenever it is ready so if you want their merch and it's not available or in stock right now you can still order it and so you can secure that spot to get their merch so i really appreciate that because a lot of times people do merch and they drop it and then it sells out and you don't even get a chance to get everything you wanted this gave me the opportunity to get everything that i had wanted so I'm very, very excited. This has been sitting around waiting for me to do this look. So luckily it said it was going to take a really long time, but luckily it only ended up taking about a month for my pre-order to be fulfilled. So that's not too bad. Honestly, that's not too bad of a way. Alrighty, here we go. So you guys can see before me. I'm also blind. So y'all know I cannot see anything. So what is, what is in there? Oh, <laughs> nothing exciting. First, we have my little order form right here, and it shows all of the items that I received. So, so I actually ended up getting quite a few different items. Yeah. So, first thing I see right here is there's like a bag. Is this a bag? I don't know what this is. It says official merchandise, mana skin. I don't know why this is here. I'm assuming this is what most people's merch comes in, but because I bought so much, they put it in a box. Because this looks like it's like the bag, like a shipping bag, like the materials, like a shipping bag. And then you, yeah, you would put, it says Destinatario. I'm assuming that's destination. So this would be like the shipping label would go right here. But that's kind of interesting that they included this. I think that's kind of cool because it has some fancy mana skin like drawings and stuff. And so I'm glad that they included this so I could still, you know, have this um, even if I ended up getting it in a box. So I ended up getting two hoodies and four t-shirts. So let's start with the t-shirts because those are, you know, a little bit less. So, oh, you know what? I got three t-shirts and one tank top. So here is the tank tank top. So I really like this. You know, I've been getting more tattoos on my arms and I've been wanting to show off my arms a little bit more. And plus it's been so hot this summer. So I definitely have been wanting to get into the little, you know, the tank top moment. And I really thought this one was cute. It just says mana skin. What I really liked about their merch is it's not, I mean, a lot of it is just their faces on it, but they're cool, interesting designs. Like they're not just slapping a picture, like their album cover onto a t-shirt and calling it a day. Like they are really cool you know, designs. And so, you know, I like this. It just says mana skin. Oh, and you know what? The details, look, you can even see, I'll, I'll insert a picture of it, but the tags are like specific mana skin tags. They have the mana skin logo on there and it says official merchandising. That is really, really cool. You know, that just shows like a little bit extra attention to detail. It's more high quality, all of that sort of thing. It doesn't say like Gildan or Haynes or Fruit of the Loom or whatever, and they just printed it on a shirt. There's an actual like tag, which is really cool. So that's really cute. I love that. I love their logo and all that. So then this is another t-shirt. So this is a really nice black t-shirt and then it has that kind of red lettering as well, similar to the tank top. And it has the title of their album, Tietro 
Dita, y'all know my Italian, is never good. And it just has these kind of sketch drawings of all of the band members. And I really like these designs. Like, I just think that this, like, really holds up well. I think it looks really, really good. I got a small in all of the t-shirts. Did I get smalls in the hoodies as well? Yeah, so I ordered smalls in everything. I am 5'5 five five and, like, 120 pounds. So whenever you see these all on me, you can use that as reference if you don't know what size you should get. But yeah, I love this design. I think it looks really, really cool. I've been kind of leaning away from getting a lot of black t-shirts but then I ordered a bunch of colors and I pretty much only find myself wearing my black shirts that I own so I want to get more band tees and stuff like that so I've been kind of ordering that sort of thing oh and on the back it says mana skin on the back and what I appreciate about this design the design is not super low on the shirt and I, I'm pretty sure all these designs are like that and I appreciate that because I tuck all my pants in and when and I have some t-shirts where the design is like at the bottom of the t-shirt and then I tuck my shirt in and you never see the design I really appreciate that a lot of the designs are kind of on the top half the t-shirt so I can still tuck them in and the design still be visible. So then I got this oh my god I love this shirt. So this is for Thomas um, or Thomas or whatever. I always be saying it like Thomas but I'm sure I don't know maybe he just prefers Thomas. So this is the Thomas tracklist doodle t-shirt. So it has on the front it has Thomas and listen I don't like to say I don't like to pick favorites you know I think that they're all great for their different reasons but I really really identify with Thomas. I just, I feel like we have the similar hair color. We both have our mullets going on and I just identify with him. Okay, I watch all the interviews. I'm like, that is me. I love him so much. So I needed to support my boy and get this shirt. And I love the color and I love the kind of sketch design. It's the same, you know, kind of design that they have on all of the t-shirts. And I, I love it. I love the design. It's, it's just really cool. I think it looks cool to kind of, it's like a doodle, like just you're doodling in a sketchbook. And then on the back, it's the track list of all the songs from their EP. Like, I want to be your slave. Some of these, I can't read them because they're in Italian, but you know, for your love. Oh, oh my God. That album is really, really good. And can we just talk about how much they have blown up from TikTok? The fact that they have three songs that are like blowing up and that are on the top charts is insane. That is absolutely insane for a Eurovision artist. That never happened. Usually it's like, okay, yeah, they're Eurovision song charts, but the fact that their cover of Begging and I Want to Be Your Slave are also charting in addition to Zice Buoni, and I think they're charting higher than their Eurovision winning. Oh my God, that is just literally so awesome to see Eurovision and Eurovision artists getting that much success. So I'm really, really proud of them. And then finally for the t-shirts, I got this t-shirt which just has all of their kind of pictures on them. So I just really like the, these look big for a small, but maybe not, maybe not. So it's kind of like this beige color and then it just has, I don't know, I just thought it was a really cool graphic, you know, like them all kind of looking up into the camera and um, it just has all, all of the band members and then it says Mana Skin and then on the back it says it again and their logo and I don't know, I just really, really like it. I think that looks really, really good. And of course, I'm going to be trying all of these on for you guys, of course. And then for the hoodies, I picked these two hoodies because I don't have any hoodies really in these colors and I also, of course, like the design. So this is kind of like a beige one and then on the front it says, oh, and here's the thing is I never know for hoodies if I want to if I want to get one that is like more fitted or if I want to get one that's like really big and baggy so I ended up going for a small so I wanted them to be a little bit more fitted just because I find myself usually wearing those more and and you never know if they're really lightweight you don't really want them to be baggy because that kind of is like looks really cheap but if they're heavyweight then them being like bigger I don't know it's just like I feel like if I want them to be oversized I need to try them on to like make sure it fits right so I ended up going with them being small. So on the front it just says Mana Skin and then on the back it has that same kind of sketch design of everybody you see Ethan, Damiano, Victoria, and Thomas all on the back and they're all you know killing it. Does Damiano is his hair that long? See, like, I feel like his hair, I would have made his hair, like, dark black or something. Like, can't tell that, I'm like, is that Damiano? I mean, I know it's Damiano, because that one's definitely Thomas because of the bangs. But, like, that one doesn't really read as Damiano. But I still love it. I still love it. And then I got this one, and I love this color. I don't have a hoodie like this, and I just think it looks really cool, and it just says Mana Skin on the front. Um, and it's this, like, nice burgundy, purplish color. And then on the back, it has Mana Skin Zite Buoni on the back. And I like that it's the black text on this already dark color, because it's kind of subtle, but it still is, like, there. And I think it looks really, really, really cool. So, oh my god, I am so happy. And then what is this at the bottom? Oh, and then, oh... 
we love a little bonus. So it also came with a sticker that says Monoskin on it, and it's the like Monoskin kind of logo stretched out. So that is really, really, really cool. And yeah, so that is it for the Monoskin merch. I will try all of this on. I don't know if I'm going to overlay it or if I'll just do it at the end, but I'll try all of it on so you guys can see what it looks like on. And now on to all of the kind of Eurovision merch that I got uh, this season. So first I want to start with the Eurovision 2021 artists. So firstly I want to start with my queen Senit because she actually sent me some merch. I got a weird email that was just like oh we need your shipping address. We are from Senate's team or whatever we and I was like okay I'll send it to you like I don't know if you're like a stalker that's gonna show up to my house I don't know if you're legit but no I ended up getting some of her merch in the mail so I really really appreciate that this is the first time an artist ever did that for me so that like felt really good I really appreciated her doing that so I got a t-shirt and it just has Senate's kind of like picture on the front and on the back it says Senate Adrenalina Eurovision Song Contest on the back very very cute we love Queen Senny but this is not the only thing that she gave me, okay? It was crazy when I got this package, let me tell you. So I also got a little tote bag because everybody needs a little tote bag and it just says, you know, Senate Adrenalina Eurovision. Just a little blue tote bag, you know? Fun, fun, fun. Then I got a water bottle, which I've been using. You can hear the water in it. And it says Senate Adrenalina. You know, same sort of thing, like all of them. It's, it's meant to promote the song, right? But then listen, this is the craziest thing ever. When I got this, I was like, who even thought of this? Who even... what? It is a Senate board game, okay? Now, I don't have any friends, so I don't have anybody to play this with, but basically it is a memory board game, so it has a bunch of pictures of Senate, and you flip them all upside down, and then you try to, like, match them. It's one of those games. Um, but this just literally blew me away. I was like, of course, if anybody is going to send out a board game, for their promotional materials, it would be Senate. Yeah, so it just has a bunch of pictures of Senate and a lot of these pictures I've never even seen before, but you just are meant to like match them and, and, and all that fun stuff. That was really, really cool. And of course I got a little poster cause she did her, um, she did her road to Rotterdam, like promotional sort of thing. And she did a cover of Ding A Dong. And so this was a poster of that. And I love this like Wonder Woman fierceness of um, Senny. She is a literal queen. Oh, let me just mention, the only thing that was sent to me for free was, um, Senny's items. Everything else I paid for with my own money. All right, so I bought this myself. And let me tell you, the struggle of being an American Eurofan and trying to buy merch, the amount that I pay for shipping is bonkers, okay? But... I think the Monoskin merch was like, I don't know, I think it was only $25 shipping, which is I think is really good because the actual order was like 200 something altogether. So that's, I think, pretty good for like all that stuff. But I have something coming up that I spent an absurd amount on shipping and I, I still slightly regret it. But um, yeah, I loved this shirt. Basically, I tweeted out and I've been like, I've wanted to buy like everybody's merch if I can. And so when I saw that they were coming out with merch, I loved a lot of their designs. They were really unique and interesting. They were kind of expensive. Um, so I only ended up getting this t-shirt, but this was my favorite design. However, they only had them in children's sizing for some reason, but I just loved this design so much. So I ordered the largest child size and I hoped that I could fit it. And I do, it actually fits like perfectly. It's kind of crazy. I kind of feel like I should start buying children's t-shirts because this fits me better than like any adult t-shirt I get. But it just kind of has the, you know, the, the root sign. I think this shirt is just really cool. Everybody I've shown this to thinks it's really, really cool. The design is interesting and unique and the bright yellow. I don't own like any yellow clothes. So I really, really love this shirt. And then next up, I'm going to show some of the stuff that I got from Zhanggu. So I got this t-shirt, which is for his album Horizon. I absolutely love this album. My favorite song on this album, if you guys haven't listened to it, is Dance With Me. That is an absolute bop. If you guys have a similar taste in music as me and you like fun, dancey songs, that one is really, really good. And the album is really amazing in general. There are a lot of really good songs on it. And I just really like this shirt. I like the colors and everything, the bright red. I, I love this album cover, so I definitely, I love this shirt. And then I got this shirt, the You Know Man Broco Me. They had another color of this that was like limited edition. I think it was like a beige or a white or something. I really, really wanted that one, but I missed out on it. But I ended up getting this blue one as well. And I still love it as well. And it's so soft and nice, like quality. Um, all these shirts are, none of them are on like cheap materials or anything, which I really, I appreciate. 
Um, and yeah, it just says, you know, my me. And I, I'm happy to support him. I really wanted to support him, especially after he was robbed. I'm just saying. So I placed two orders, so I got two stickers, one in each order. So I have two Zhanggu stickers. And then I got this thing, which was really kind of weird. I don't really know, I don't really know why they did this or like what the context was, but it's a zero euro note for the Eurovision Song Contest. So I'll do a picture of it. It's really unique. Um, it just says Euro Souvenir. It's zero euros. It's euros, right? Yeah, it's just zero euros. I don't know if it's like actually in like like a real euro. It's just only it's worth nothing. I don't know. I don't know how that goes, but it's it's really cool to have regardless. I think it's a really cool just like Eurovision souvenir. And of course, I didn't get to go. So, I, I you know, if I end up getting to go to a Eurovision one of these damn days, hopefully I'll be able to get some more like merch and souvenirs and stuff. But, you know, that the reason why I ended up buying everything was, of course, because I didn't end up being able to go. So I wanted to get stuff just to be able to remember this year um because i just to me this was the best year of eurovision ever that i've ever experienced so definitely i um wanted memorabilia from it so that is everything i got from the eurovision 2021 artists if you guys know any other eurovision 2021 artists or just anybody in general that has merch out right now that you think i uh, I should buy let me know in the comments down below and i will find it i know daddy Freyer has uh these shirts that you can get like your own version of his pixel avatars your own version of those shirts but they don't have any hairstyles that i feel like suit me so i'm like i don't know if i want to get one because the person on the thing is not going to match me at all i wish they had green hair color but this is just some like merch or items that I got from other artists in the past, um, in recent years. But so I got this shirt. You might have seen it on my Instagram. This is from the company Amsterdam, which Dalbob is now like a co-owner of. This shirt, however, is the design. It's a Hawaiian kind of shirt, which I really, really like because most of the stuff that they do is like jeans and they're not really my style of jeans. However, this shirt, it has all of like Dow Bob's tattoos. It doesn't have all of them. It has a couple of Dow Bob's tattoos that he has on his body. They have them on here as designs. Um, and I just think it looks really, really cool. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this and I really, really like it. It's really nice, like quality. It feels good, it feels expensive and it fits me really, really well. A lot of times when I buy menswear, they're too big on me and stuff like this, like they're always too big on me, Hawaiian shirts, but this fits me like perfectly, it's insane. So if you haven't seen this, if you're a fan of Dow Bob, you guys know I'm a literal stan. That is my husband, you know, go support him, go support his company and then i got this magazine this was so cool so first of all i'm waiting for my next paycheck to get the mana skin vanity fair um magazine because i'm so mad i was posting all over my social media hoping that somebody from italy would be able to get it for me and i would be able to buy it from them but unfortunately that was impossible but i got this this clash magazine i've never heard of it before but mahmoud was on the cover i don't know what month this was or or what it's one of those things where they they have multiple magazines for they're all the same magazine but they have multiple cover people so i got the one of course with mahmoud um mahmoud mahmoud and he's just on there looking absolutely amazing of course some of the other people i know they had madison beer um as a cover girl and i love me some madison you could just see him in there you know doing his thing being mahmoud and it has like an interview with him and i and you you know i read through it and everything for myself and you know i'm really really proud of all of these eurovision artists who are breaking through like into the mainstream international industries i think that that is just really really incredible and i'm so proud of all of these people and especially mahmoud and little big and netta and duncan lawrence and of course mana skin and everybody who in recent years have been really breaking into the mainstream i'm so proud of them and speaking of little big the last thing that i have to show you is i think one of the most epic collaborations with the eurovision artist ever and that is little big x crocs I know they technically are like technically not Eurovision artists because they didn't end up actually getting to go. However, I still had to get these. I needed to support them, of course. And also I thought they were so, so cool. Now, what I think is crazy is I've been watching people reposting getting them on Little Big's Instagram and nobody, I haven't seen anybody get this coffin shaped box. So I feel really, really special for that. Um, I don't know why I got this one. I think it's because I ordered it off their website. At first, I didn't think I was going to get them um, because they sold out on the Crocs Russia website website and guys as an American once again me trying to navigate through these websites when they're in different languages and stuff and the shipping the shipping for this 
Okay, the Crocs were only $80, but the shipping was $70. But I honestly expected them to be like $300. So when they only were $80, my mind was already mentally prepared to pay at least like $300. So I still bought. But it is so hard to navigate through those websites, y'all, as an American. So anyways, regardless, I got them off of the little big website. They actually have a lot of cool merch. I might buy more stuff um, my next paycheck. But you can see this dude. I don't know anybody's names in Little Big, but you can see this dude on the front in this coffin. I thought this was such a cool box. I will literally keep this box forever because it is so cool. And inside I have the Crocs and there were some extra things that came with them. So here are the Crocs. They are so, so cool. I actually don't own, um, a I, I don't own a pair of Crocs at all. So um, this was my first ever pair of Crocs and you can see them right here. They say little big on the front. Um, and then they have these spikes in the back. They say anti-positive on the sides and they have all these spikes and safety pins and stuff. And they're just really, really, really cool. I got the black ones. I did want the pink ones, but they were out of, out of stock in my size. So I ended up getting these ones and then they ended up being too big. I could have gotten the pink ones a size down, but you live and you learn. I had never owned a pair of Crocs before. I didn't know how they would fit, um, but they are really, really cool. And I don't know how much I'm gonna wear them because they don't fit me but I'm glad that I have them because they are very, very cool. And then what's crazy is you got a pair of socks. So they just, you know, they're just a pair of socks. Like they just say little big on the side and Crocs and, and they just have like these teddy bears and flames and safety pins and like all these little designs on them. And they're very cool. And then to top it off, you get a little card. Just, you know, you always get like a little card with when you order things, right? But it is signed by everybody and you can tell it's signed. Like it, it's, you can tell it's like actual real Sharpie that they actually signed it. So that is really, 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 really cool. Um, I was really surprised. I was just expecting to get Crocs. I did not expect I was gonna get, you know, socks or a, a actual legit little big signed card. So these are really, really awesome. I'm very happy I got them. And yeah, guys, that is it for my haul of my Mama Skin merch, as well as all of the merch that I got over this Eurovision 2021 season. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something you would like to see more from me. I'm thinking if I make this a habit of buying Eurovision merch every single year, maybe I'll do like one collective kind of haul at the end of the season, just to show all of the merch that I got over the season, if that's something that you guys would like to see. Of course, don't forget to support all of these artists. Go check out their merch. If there's anything that you liked, that you saw, go check it out, go buy it, go support these artists. A lot of them, Eurovision is the biggest thing that will ever happen in their career. And so I think that it's really important for us to support these artists after Eurovision, and everything that they end up doing. So don't forget to leave in the comments down below if there are any other artists merch that you think that I should check out and that I should buy. And yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. My name is Maxi Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.